lots of people, Dr. Wolves is right here and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings. Oh yes, it now starts. Before we start, please check out Funky Figures, they are all so amazing. Let's crack open two packs of lemon yellow sleeves, people. Lemon yellow, oh yes. Some lemon drops. Because we gotta use these up, people. We gotta use them up for the secrets and everything because today's pack opening is gonna be hot. And I just almost lost all my sleeves then. Whoops. <laughs> that tells you I'm very excited. Very excited indeed, people. Very excited. Because today we are opening Battle of Legends Terminal Revenge. I was supposed to open this up like a week or two weeks ago in like last month, but my my package was late, so I have to do it this month. It was $74.99 as you guys know, but like I said, it's a boost box, you have to open it up halfway. So one side for one episode, the other side for another. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Um, somebody's took my trusty blade, so god damn it, I'll have to use my pencil. There we go. Pencil opened. Let's unravel this beauty. There we go. So, let's go ahead and open up our first 12 now. We're going to start with the right side as usual. Now, as you guys want to know, there is one quarter century card in this set that is only a quarter century, which of course is the Godforsaken cover card. I hate it when they do this, and it's actually a really good card for the Blue Eyes and the Dark Magicians and the Black Luster Soldier. It is the new Meiji Dragon Knight. But besides that, there is also um, some amazing cards in this set. I can't, I can't really fully remember what they all were, but there's some really good bangers, people. Some really good bangers. So let's see what we can pull out of here. I've not opened up a lot of this set, so a lot of this is going to be new to me. So let's have a look. They're all, all holographic. You get one secret rare in a pack. All the rest of them are going to be ultra rares. So we got ourselves the Gen X Ally cards. We got Durun Dark. We got Toy Soldier. That's cool. Sp Sprite's in the set. I completely forgot. Sprite Jet. So I could probably make my sprites a bit more better. And uh, Spiritual Beasts are in here as well. The Tamer Winder. Oh, we got ourselves an Ice Jade Grimmer. That is a cool secret right there. One of the boss cards for the Ice Jades. I'll take that. Again though, the only ones I'll be pricing up are the ones that actually have over a pound in the UK. So as you guys know, prices do change. So be warned when you're watching it, the prices will be changed again. We got ourselves Life Hack, Mitch Match, Earthbound, Res Resurrection, uh, Sprite, Sprint, uh, sprint uh, Converter and the Arms of Genix Return Zero. That is really good. Now, the one thing about it, Genix cards, I am not really a massive fan of. Uh, the Genix is pretty much a very, very weak um, core set. And um, they have got new support in this set, but to be honest, it's not really that good. Um, it's good for Rogue and everything, but nothing like insane. Right Circle Reef, Guard Dog. Sprite Blue! Let's go! I need two more of these, because this is the only card I really need for my splites. There's the normal card, Gen X Controller, the OG Originator. Sprite Gen Gigantic Sprite! <laughs> That's awesome! That's so good. I loved, I, to be honest, I really do want to make a, a Sprite deck, people. I really do. They looked amazing, but they were just too expensive, people. Way too expensive. Uh, Spike Gamma Burst. Ah, oh, there's the um, Millennium card that we all know and love. Old school. Finally getting a print in the UK. Electric Blaster. Infinoids. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Divine Carnite! Oh my god! I pulled this a long time ago as a secret and I sold it instantly and massively regretted it a lot. Even though I got a lot of money for it, but I wanted it back. I finally got it back! Hey, let's go! I think that's one of the best ones to get as well, so that is really good. 
Oh my god. But if I remember, I think there is a card in here as well. It's Phantom U Bell. I need that card. Branded Lost, Pillar, Reef, Searing Dragon. And Sprite Starter. We get all the sprites, people. Damn. This is actually not bad. We're getting sprites. But there is one card we want. Phantom U Bell. It's the one I want more than anything. Or oh, a QCR would be freaking insane. Oh my god, if we did, we'd freaking lose the roof. Ice Barrier, Toy Tank, uh, Ice Barrier again, Splite Pixie, and the new Ice Barrier card, the um, Swordsman. That's cool. Sleeve that up. Now, just remember, people, a lot of the ultra rares are going to be probably about less than a pound anyway, so just be warned. So, I probably won't be pricing up any of the ultra rares. It's just going to be the secrets and possibly the QCR if we pull one. Infernoids. Audition of Right. We've got Panic. Gen X Tuning. And Infernoid Dequian. And I've got a lot of Infernoids as well, so that would be quite cool if I make a deck out of that. But I know a lot of the cards that have um, been reprinted have been reprinted, but a lot of them that are the best cards for them have not been printed, so it's a bit of a bummer. We got a new Ritual Beast, Ultra Cannon Hawk, Pixie. Hey, Barox, that's good. From uh, Panic the Eliminator from Yu Gi Oh! original series. Uh, Gen X Ally Axel. And the Tri Brigade. Nice to have it as a secret uh, rarity bump, that's nice. We're not far off now to finishing up this pack, people, of this boost pack opening for today. Doesn't look like we've not pulled insane yet, but we still, we, we're not lost our hope yet. Electrode, where's Pokemon? Sprite Jet. Winky Weevil level 6! There we go, I'll take that. Another one for my Wink Weevil collection, I like it. Three packs left, people. And then we can have to pause the video for a day or two. Till we open up the next lot. Infernoid, movie match, scrap goblin, power uh, Janx power planner, and original Bleas inheritance. That's a cool secret. That's very very nice. That is the continuous well card for them. Two packs left, people. No Phantom U Bell yet, but still though, a lot, a lot of cards that I don't have, so I don't mind either way. Freezing Chain of the Ice Barrier, Jack's Controller, Toy Soldier, Infinoids, and Ebon's Son. What is this card? I need to read that. That sounds really, really good. Sounds very, very strong, but I'll have to read it. Final pack of today's episode for part one of part, of part two. Can we end it off with a big high? We got Bunch of Beast Bodies. Our Genix Undyne, the Ultra Cannon. Nice, we've got Harp Horror, that's good. And the Void Vanishments, the Voids are in there as well, I completely forgot. So not bad to start off with. I'm not going to do a recap just yet, people. We're going to do the recap in the next episode. So I'm going to leave it here, people. So hopefully you stay tuned for the next episode, people. Part 2 of the Booster Box Break. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Cheerio! I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Oh!